Alright, October the 16th, about 25 in the morning. It's windy to hunt today. I'll probably deer hunt this evening. That's going on a little bit here in a little while. Anyway, I'm over here at this old shell bar here. Now, these nuts are being a little stubborn and coming off, but I've got some here on the ground. I'm going to start picking some of them up. There's one right there. A king nut, they call it. And boy, that's got a bunch of big old goody in it, okay? Very deceiving looking at that nut, what's inside of it. Real thin shell on that nut. This side of the tree here seems like it's got more nuts here. Alright, when I get down here now, there's going to be a few I won't hold because I can't get them all. But I'm going to try to get, see how full I can get this bucket with just the actual nut part. Now there's going to be a few I can't get the hole off of. I'll show what I'm doing. I'm getting there. Okay, this tree here still got substantial nuts left over here. We can go up here and let you see some of these. Still got quite a few nuts over here. I don't know. I don't believe it's fifty percent fell off. Hard for me to judge, oh. Okay, that'll do for today. Now this right here ought to make a good solid gallon. Maybe five quarts of factual goodies. Okay, bucket on the left is shag bar, and the bucket on the right is shell bar. Now, all the holes have been removed. All you see is the actual nut. I'm going to zoom in on these shag bar. Okay, you see those corners, ridges, those nuts. Okay, and I'm going to move over here to the shell bar. Notice they're more round. A few of them have a mild ridge, but it's nothing like what you see on these nuts here, the shag bark. Now, the shag bark nut actually looks bigger than the shell bark nut. Okay? But the problem with these nuts here is, is the goody doesn't extend up into the stem area and down in the bottom of the nut. And they have a thicker shell on them. Meaning, you know, to get to the actual goody, it's a lot thicker versus these. And I'm going to show a video eventually and show you the difference in these. Now, you'll work yourself to death to get a quart of goodies out of these. These shell bar, not near as hard. And that's why they call these, I guess, the king nut. Okay, the goody. Per the nut size inside is monster compared to even those and the other species of hickory, okay? Now these are big nuts, don't get me wrong, but you you looking in the camera now, these right here actually look a little bigger. But they don't have the, the meat inside that these do right here, okay? And a squirrel that's gnawing needs to get the goody out, boys, he sure is getting, he's gnawing a lot of holes. These right here, he would be reading very little of the actual shell on the nut, okay? I hope you enjoyed the video.